This watery place is a mangrove forest in one of the wildest places on the planet, Costa Rica's Osa Peninsula. The Osa is also the last stand of one of the rarest birds on the planet, the yellow-billed Cotinga. Manuel Ramirez, director of Osa Conservation. Yellow-billed Cotinga is a unique species. Uh, it's an endemic species. Only probably around 500 individuals exist in the world. 500. This bird that once thrived in the countries of Panama and Costa Rica is now greatly reduced throughout its historic range with the most important populations surviving on the Osa. The Cotinga is classified as globally endangered. It's hanging on by a thread, pushed to the brink by habitat loss and the birds exacting habitat needs. Yellow-billed Cotinga depends for nesting on the mangroves, for foraging and feeding on the high forest, and they have to be together. Rare and beautiful. The Cotinga is a catch on the life list for birders worldwide. And wonderfully, it's been ordinary individual birders who've thrown out a lifeline to save this bird. And a spotted sandpiper. Craig Thompson is a North American birder and conservationist who often brings birders to this yellow-billed Cotinga site by the Rincon River in the Osa. I've been bringing groups down to the Osa Peninsula for a number of years. It's called, they're called conservation birding trips. And what we do, or we just get to experience a world-class birding adventure, see lots of great stuff, but at the same time we support OSA conservation activities through donations. Well, we were sitting around talking one night at dinner, and we had just seen yellow billed Cotingas that day, and somebody said, gosh, that little population at Rincon is really important, what could we possibly do for them? And two people that happened to be on the trip with us, first time birding in the tropics, they stepped up and said, look, We'll make a donation to help buy this reserve if everyone else helps to pitch in. Everyone did. The birders stepped up. Their donations sparked the first effort ever to save the Cotinga. That was the catalyst. That was the spark that we needed to actually get meaningful conservation going for this bird. Things started to snowball after that. So it was in a span of five months we actually raised enough money to buy this tract of land that helped secure the future for this globally endangered bird. We had a terrific celebration afterwards. It really was a remarkable model of how conservation can be birder initiated and birder driven. It's just a terrific conservation success. It's something we're very proud of. This is what the birders, just ordinary people, began. The yellow-billed Cotinga Reserve. 25 acres on the Rincon River. A good start, but the journey's just begun. This is great, it's only a start. We have an awful lot of work to do because this is just one tiny population. This isn't even the largest population, yellow-billed Cotinga. There is still a high degree of threat for this species. This Rincon population, probably less than 100 birds, maybe 70 to 80. So we know that these little isolated populations won't cut the mustard. The birds need more. Scientists have identified additional sites that need to be permanently protected from logging, farming, or development to ensure the survival of the Cotinga. And protecting Cotinga habitat ensures the survival of another threatened species, a North American songbird, the prothonotary warbler. And this is a species that's declining fairly rapidly and is a high conservation priority for East and North America. It winters exclusively in mangroves in Latin America, many of which have been destroyed. It's not just prothonotary warblers that are found in the mangroves, but other things like yellow-throated vireos and American red starts and chestnut-sided warblers. All of these birds inhabit these same types of forests that the yellow-billed Katinga is found in. Protecting land here in the Osa, as the birders have done, sustains more than just the yellow-billed Cotinga and songbirds. It benefits all the wildlife here, and just as importantly, nice, huh? the people of the Osa, who call this beautiful, wild place home. Behind the leaf, this is oh. it's a yellow-green video. Abraham Gallo is recognized as one of the premier birding guides in the Osa. Yeah, he flew, look. In fact, it was Gallo who helped scientists locate remaining Cotinga populations. He's the only person to ever discover a Cotinga nest. Why ibis fly? They really are pretty. Yeah, yeah very pretty. Gallo guides and also runs an eco lodge, 
Bosque del Rio Tigre with his wife, Liz Jones. But Gallo didn't always have the opportunity to do work that benefited nature. This is the job Gallo used to do. He was a gold miner. It's backbreaking, hard work with a devastating environmental impact and most often a low and always an uncertain income. When I was a gold miner, I was a gold miner for 18 years. I didn't have binoculars or books, but I was always curious to watch the birds. Back then I listened to the bird songs. Now Gaio, like so many in the Osa, makes a living, a steady, sustainable living, based on sharing his knowledge and love of the natural world. So when those birders stepped up and donated to protect land for the Kotinga, that gift reverberated from here to the songbirds in spring in North America, to the health and future of people on the Osa. We have an asset here that we have to protect. Time is short. Population pressures, land prices, and development in the Osa are all increasing. For the people who want to help with the Osa conservation work, it's excellent. I thank them for helping and to pay attention to what we have here. And when they would come here and I would show them the birds, we want to show those to them because after much time has gone by, we might not be able to see a bird like the yellow-billed Katinga. There really is a closing window of opportunity within which to make a difference for this species. It's here and nowhere else, and it's now or never. Oh, that's the best start. Oh, God, look at Oh, man, that's nice. Oh. Osa Conservation would like to thank the birders and donors who made the yellow-billed Kotinga Reserve this video and our continued work in protecting the Osa Peninsula possible.